All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely actors. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. Actor Brian Scott Stevens. Now it's your spotlight. Boy, actor Brian Scott Stevens here. I'm just doing a very special video today. Something that I feel like I, I couldn't wait to do. Um, and this is for the ESPN Monday Night Football. Yes. The, the famous Are You Ready For Some Football commercial. Um, but I was definitely honored to be a part of it. So let me just give you some details about this commercial and how it not only helped my career, it also it also was my first significant paycheck that I got for acting. All right, so first how I even got the commercial. In between the Disney Evers and and the Monday Night Football was a, a couple months, about I'm gonna say three months difference. In that time, I got a new place. I got an agent. So basically my agent got me that gig to where I was the Oakland Raider fan. All right, so we shot the video in Disney World at the House of Blues and it was a one day shoot. So if people are not familiar with commercials, you can shoot for 18 hours in one day and they chop up the videos into several different commercials. Another one, we shoot it all in one setting. So when you see these commercials with the same people doing different things and they may be interacting with other people, that's on the same day. It's just a long shoot, extremely long shoot. All right, and that's the case with ours. Obviously, Hank Williams was the one who sung the famous song that everyone knows. He was there, a really nice guy. Very, very nice. Really cool to meet him. Uh, Little Richard was there. That was pretty interesting, um, seeing Little Richard. Um, he, he saw me and he was like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, hey, what's up? It's Little Richard. I can't believe this is Little Richard. So that was pretty cool just to see, you know, like an icon like that where the people that I idolized, idolized him. So that's, so that's just cool by itself. Uh, Questlove from The Roots, he was there with the big old afro and the little pitchfork in it, yep. And he was just playing the drums. Uh, man, he's, he's awesome, awesome. Um, what's the guy, uh, the guitar player who had the big, like box looking guitar from ACDC, I don't remember his name, but he was there. Uh, Charlie Daniels, the violinist who played Devil Went Down to Georgia. Yes, um, he was there as well. Uh, th there was, there was a, a, basically everyone in there was, was pretty well known. And then a couple other, other people like me who were just more acting like we're, we're the sports fans in, in, in the video. All right, um, so, some interesting things that, that happened. And there was three girls that were dancing in the ESPN Monday Night Football commercial. Two of them only were were really shot during the video. What, what was going on is they had a routine that they had to do. And I guess the last girl, she was not, so they just cut her out of the video. Which is interesting because they didn't just edit her out, they actually said, get her off the stage. She's not in here anymore type of type of cutout. It's like, wow, are you serious? Yeah, so that was brutal. Um, and that was my first experience with someone being cut from a production during the actual production. So she was cut off from it. In between takes when we were, when we weren't filming, we also had a, a pretty nice time in, in this regards. Uh, each artist, they would just play just songs. It was beautiful. Like Charlie played Devil Went Down to Georgia, and then another song that I'm not personally familiar with, Hank Williams sung some of his songs. Um, oh, um, I, I know who else was there. The guy from Aerosmith, not obviously, uh, not the lead singer, but the other guy who plays the guitar, he was there. And that was, that was beautiful, seeing him there too. 
So they all just played, just jammed out. We were just listening to music, just singing songs. Like like when it wasn't filming, it was it was dope. You know, like how many people can say that they jammed out with all these people? That was that was definitely memorable when it comes to that. So it was my first opportunity to really meet a lot of other people that were around who were all trying to fight just to even get into this commercial. So so it was just only how many how many of us? Like twelve, I wanna say. Pit. Uh I think it was just like twelve of us, one girl, I mean six guys, six girls. For I guess for the whole thing. Because a couple of teams had 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 two Monday night footballs. Um the food was excellent. That was the first time I really had some good onset food. That food was good. And, and that was pretty much it. So the ESPN Monday Night Football, that was a blessing for me. It was something that not only just helped me just see this like, okay, I'm going in the right direction, but also helped me to see all the other stuff that I can do with my career. And still having that on my resume today, it's still beneficial because people are like, wow, you, you've done an ESPN Monday Night Football. All right, I gotta go for now. Talk to you later and peace.